And we're live. Greetings, friends. Happy Sunday. David is here. Welcome, David. Appreciate you, friend. Um, what's for dinner? A name. Greetings. I always am happy to see you. And as always, I wish you were asleep. I worry about you, friend. Well, I don't worry, but, you know, I would be happier if you were. I am happy to have you here, and I hope you are getting enough sleep. Let's just put it that way. Um, yes, on Wednesdays we Witcher. I've pretty much decided in my brain that we are going to do a Witcher 3 playthrough on Wednesdays because I like saying, on Wednesdays we Witcher. Um, that being said, you know, it's, um, it's a departure for the channel. It's the first time I will be playing a game on this channel that is not Rockstar or Red Dead related. And I'm curious to see how it will do. Also, um, in my brain, I'm confusing the combat mechanics with with um, with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So I'll have to like, I'll have to, you know, I'll have to redo it. But you know, I think I want to start on this Wednesday this week because I'm very excited about this idea. We have been. I put. I also put a poll up on the on the community page and it has it has 14 votes right now 64 percent yes 36 percent no i want more horses but hey hey where are you going where are you going stay here sadie tried to like go leave as you know we are um we have a co-host we are co-hosted by the channel dog sadie who is very happy about a witcher 3 playthrough on wednesdays David says, this chat is pretty chatty, and um, David, um, that's thanks to you, friend, because you're pretty chatty. I really wish you'd stay, and that was to Sadie. She moved to the crate. No, actually, she moved underneath. There's a little rug, rug underneath the desk, and um, she moved there. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, very excited about that. At any rate, um, how is everyone? Uh, a name says flat out sleeping yesterday. My bad for not making the stream. No worries, a name. And David says, "What's up, a?" And a name says, "Had to make this one. I love the Sunday lives. Well, the Sunday lives love you, a name." And shout out to Ireland. Um, a name says, "Seen that Dogma game runs on thirty to forty FPS, and fighting puts it down to 14. Yeah, um, that dragon, that Dragon's Den Dogma got me thinking about Witcher Three again. And I think I'm ready, and the channel's ready. A name says, hopefully the chat picks up. Quite surprised, not pe not many people are in yet. Yeah, they'll roll in when they do. A name, Miko's here. Miko says, hello, S Super Antonio and Sadie. Hello, David. A name, everyone. Greetings, Miko. We are going to be doing a Witcher 3 playthrough on this channel 
on Wednesdays. Just because I like saying, on Wednesdays we witcher. Also, um, all that conversation about Dragon's Den this weekend got me thinking about witcher. Additionally, um, additionally, uh, we can get Serena to play it because I know Serena would love this game. She thinks it's too scary. It's not scary at all. I mean, there are dragons and monsters, but it's not scary. Um, and you can play as a girl. You can play as Siri. And I like it when Serena plays as girls. A name says, Mike, try out Witcher 3 myself. Looks like a good, a good game. It is a great game, um, A name. It rivals this game. Uh, it's, uh, if you just do like story mode, it's like 50, 60 hours. It's just as much as this game. The, um, the open world is just as expansive. Uh, horse mechanics are not great, but you don't play it for horses. You know, it's like in the crafting, the crafting for weapons and armor and, and health items and random stuff just is the best I've ever seen. Really way better than this game. Um, so yeah, you'd like it. Plus it's your heritage. You come from a land of swords and armor and horses. David, what's for dinner? Fourteen viewers in the chat. Greetings, friend. I have a viewer poll, but I've pretty much decided that we're going to do a Witcher 3, uh, playthrough on Wednesdays. Happy Sunday. Hope you're ready for the week because ready or not, it's coming. I had a good day. There was a little bit of a rain this afternoon. We got caught in the rain, me and the dog, but it was fine. She likes the rain. It's just another adventure to her. A name says, stop speaking to that girl from last Sunday. <laughs> that was quick. Don't think we really had much of a connection after that night. To be honest, as I could see, both of us were talking less and less. Oh, um, that's sad. I mean, falling in love quickly and falling out of love perhaps was not love. It was infatuation. But, you know, that excitement of meeting someone new, that's a nice feeling. Can't lie. A name says, was mainly me though, more than her, but we both agreed on just staying friends. David says, Abondigas. I have no idea what that is. I'm going to look it up. Search Google. Albondiga soup is made with beef and rice meatballs, which are simmered in a seasoned tomato broth along with vegetables. It's called Mexican soul food. And it was originated in Spain and taken to Mexico by the conquistadors. Um, that sounds delicious. Never heard of it. I'd eat it. You know, the problem with um, the disadvantage that men and boys face in this world of social media and and phones um, when interacting with women is we're, we are just one of many of legion, especially if they've got a popular Instagram account. You know, it's like, you know, they get so much attention and um, so much positive attention that, you know, your voice can be, you know, just you could be like, you know, you're lost in the forest or you're shouting in the wind. Um, and honestly, I don't really know how to get around that other than to make a personal a personal one-to-one -one connection, which still has more value than um, a like or a compliment in a DM. That's all I can think of. You know, I have to hope that's true. A name says, going out this Sunday for Easter as well. Hopefully, I'll have an all right night. If you could... A um, few girls looking to see me that night as well. The pressure is real. Well, you'll be all dressed up, A-Name 
um, I'm sure you'll be looking correct. David says, it happens, A, and A name says, facts, David. Yeah, it's, um, it's a strange world we live in. There's an uneven power dynamic between males and females when it comes to attention and, um, and relationships. And there's no way around it. This is a world where we live in. The only way you can compete is to do more push-ups and to take care of yourself and become the best version of yourself you can be. Which you should be doing anyways, regardless of you're looking for, you know, a companionship or a relationship or romance. Aneem says, going to need to save the rest of my Dior Sauvage aftershave for Sunday. Is that the one Johnny Depp um, um, has an ad for? I think it is. And Aneem, um, you can always like use, go and buy and get samples from like, at least in America, the land of the free, you can get samples at like high-end stores. So if you're dressed up and you ask nicely, ask for a sample. And a sample of, you know, I don't know if you know about those, but they're like, they look like little special medicine vials. But they have like a little squirt on them. And you get like maybe four to six squirts out of it. So... Go get some samples if you're like close to, I don't know what a, a nice store in Ireland would be. In America, you know, like Nordstrom's or Sephora. But yeah. Also, you get to flirt with the, um, the perfume ladies, and I'm sure you would appreciate that. Ben's Trends says, hello, everyone. I have just arrived. Welcome, Ben's Trends. We're going to be doing a Witcher 3 playthrough on Wednesday. On Wednesdays, we witcher. <clears throat> Anim says, haven't been with someone since 2022. Still on the lookout for the right girl for me, but I'm just taking it slow as it is nice when I'm not getting spam texts. Yeah, um, take your time. Just enjoy being, being with yourself. I don't know if I can phrase that right. Um, enjoy your own company. And... Focus on becoming the type of man you would like to date if you were a lady, a bath lady. I, I know that's harder to, to, um, to do than to say, but, you know, what I mean by that is, you know, you focus on your career, what you want to do with your life, your future, um, <clears throat> your, your physique, getting into shape, doing your push-ups discipline, you know, working on the hobbies you like, you know, just do you. And the more confidence that you have in yourself, the more confidence you project, um, the more attractive you will become. David says, Bent. Al Bondigas. I have never heard of that. I had shrimp pad thai. David says, no rush, A. Eh? You have a lot of time. Do things first. Yeah, you know, travel if you can. See the world. Um, learn things. I mean, biology is, is a, a harsh master. And, but, you know, you can control it. And... I think in the long run you'll be happier because you will choose wisely and there's nothing worse than choosing the wrong getting into the relationship for the wrong reasons because you're you're attractive or you are um you're attracted you're in you're in lust you must have her um or it's convenient or you're lonely those are all the wrong reasons But I don't know what I'm talking about, really, you know. 
A name says, says, since 2022, I've become less and less shy around people, which is good as well. Used to hardly ever talk to girls, but now I am most, but I am mostly every day now. Have a lot of new friends also, which is good. Yeah. Yeah, just focus on your uh, dynamics and conversational skills. You'll be fine. A name says, still keep my friendship group small, though, to be honest, as it's better that way. Yeah, um, I, there was a time when I had like over a hundred contacts in my phone and I was, and you know, they're still there, but you know, I don't, I mean, they don't even have this number. I've changed phones and accounts and I don't miss any of them really. Ben says, went to an Easter party today over at my very close friend's house. Was thinking about telling her how I feel. We have been friends for a long time. She does mostly know, though. Um, if I would say don't, Ben, if, if she does mostly know, and if you've been friends for a long time, and I hate to tell you this, I hate to say it, but if it, would, if it was going to happen, it would already have happened. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know how old you are. Unless you're like 12 or 13, trust me, it's not going to happen. And it's best to move on. Uh, um, does she have any friends you like? Um, and it's not good to focus on one specific person. But, you know, it's like if you want, if she was interested, she would let you know. It would have already happened, and you would have picked it up. So, Ben, um, you know, personally, I don't believe that men and women can be friends without having the bath lady part. But that's just me. I mean, you know, like, <clears throat> you do you. A name says the best thing to do is start with complimenting her and see how she takes that as it's better to take it slow than telling her straight away. That works for me, A name says. Is that how I did it? How do I do it? No, I just talk. I mean, we just have, for me personally, you know, I just get into a conversation and start talking. Having a dog really helps. We just talk about the dog. But, you know, I'm not currently looking for a, the next future ex-Mrs. Super Antonio. That's not on the agenda at all for me. Um, and I'm very happy on my own. Fifteen viewers in the chat. Welcome, friends. Thinking about doing... Well, actually, we are going to be doing a Witcher 3 playthrough on Wednesday. Um, a completely brand new playthrough on this channel. I put up a poll in the community post. 16 votes, and it's 56 yes, 44 no. Interesting. But we'll get, like, 200 votes over time. And it's... I've already kind of decided that I'm going to do it, so it's, it doesn't. <laughs> and in the chat, it's 71%, yes. So it's slightly higher in the chat. But, you know, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. How is everyone tonight? Eagles Pro says, hi, guys. Greetings, Eagles. Happy Sunday. A name says, yo, Eagle. And Ben says, okay, I was thinking about that as well, A name. We have hung out for years and have been friends now going to, into high school or 
Her brother, her young brother, taunts us about it, but we ignore it. Ben's trans, forgive me, but um, forgive me for asking, but are you younger than fourteen? Yes or no? Because that changes my um, that will completely change my advice for you. If you are a young lad, as opposed to closer to a grown-up. Like, are you in high school yet? Benz. Because everything changes. A name says, should start complimenting over text first as I find it's the best way to go about it. Eagle says, I've been busy. Um, A name, um, if that works for you, okay. I mean, you're hiding behind a screen. Everything's easier on the screen. And I'm all about face-to-face. -face. And understand that she gets dozens, if not hundred, compliments a day by text or DM. Ben says, I'm 14 and so is she. Same birth month and year. Okay, everything's different, Ben. Go for it. You don't know. You can't tell. It's, I, the advice I gave you was for grown-ups. Um, just, um, I would like, I mean, it's brave, but I just ask her, do you like me? Like, and what I mean by like is like me, like me. Like, do you want to go out on a date? I mean, just, just ask. I mean, that's all I know. I understand that's hard and you have to be brave, <laughs> but I swear to you, it's the e it's easier than wondering. Serena says, hi, Antonio, I'm here. Greetings, Serena. Do you have any advice for Benz? Benz is 14, and he likes a girl who's her, his friend who's also 14, and he's wondering how to tell her or ask her if she likes him as much as he likes her, Serena. So that's what you need to ask, uh, answer. And everyone say hi to Serena. We need a woman's perspective, so I'm very happy you're here. Um, <clears throat> Aneem says, although I'm good on text, I would definitely have to say I'm better in person as I think it's easier to speak to them rather than text. I agree, a name, And you have to separate yourself from the pack. And that's how you do it. Serena says, hi, everyone. And Miko says, hello, Serena. And Serena says, hi, Miko. And Sadie moved to her crate, but I'm going to move her back because she needs to say hi to Serena. Come here. Hey. Hey. Hop, pop. Okay. Serena's in the chat. So you have to say hi to Serena. David has the star hearts emoticon. We're joined once more by our channel co-host, Sadie, the channel dog. Do you have any advice for young lads in love? It probably would involve treats and scratches behind the ear. Ben says, okay, thanks for listening, Super Antonio. Sometimes it can be awkward talking about it, but I just went for it. That's how you do it. And in your case, Benz, I would, um, I would, if it's easier, just hide behind a screen and texture. Everything's different for the youngers than for the grown-ups. Well, Sadie was here, and she immediately went back to her crate. I don't feel like I over-exercised her today. I ran her a little bit, but um, we got caught in the rain, and she had fun in the rain. She's tired now. A name says, texting is boring, in all honesty, as you definitely get more out of the person when you're in their presence. Yes, exactly. There's a lot of nuance and um, conversational. There's like millions of years of evolution to have... have you know, that go into our, our interpretation of facial gestures and body language that you don't even know about that, and you completely lose it in texts. Um, Eagles Pro says, hi, Sadie. And Serena says, that'd be hard because you don't want to get rejected, but you can tell her how you feel, and if she doesn't feel the same way, you will be hurt, but at least you tried, and don't ask again and move on. <laughs> Excellent advice, Serena. Okay, Benz, you got a woman's perspective. 
It's better to know than not know, I think. Serena says, hi, David, and hi, A-Name, and hi, Benz. A-Name says, could ask her to come round to yours, Benz. <laughs> He's 14, A-Name. He doesn't have a yours. It doesn't, I, well, maybe, I don't know. Ben says, hi, Serena, thanks for the advice. Sharpie's here. Sharpie, greetings, friend. We're going to do a Witcher Wednesdays. On Wednesdays, we Witcher. I decided that. Even though we have a chat, I mean, we have a poll in the chat, we're going to do it. Why not? David says, Sharp Frost. A name says, think I've got a power of making girls smile. Probably may just be because I'm a mama's boy. No, that's your Irish charm, A name. That is your, your gift of gab, your silver tongue. Serena says, you're welcome, Benz. I've never met an Irishman who wasn't a great flirt. I suppose it's different in the, you know, when you're in a country full of them. And I've only met um, Irish, Irish people over here. A name says, would love to see you play a Saints Row game. Well, we'll start with The Witcher 3. Serena says, me being a girl, I play hard to get, mainly because I'm scared of getting hurt. That's excellent to know, Serena. And, um, and we thank you for your perspective. A name says, Saints Row 4 is on PS Plus. Serena, we're going to do a Witcher 3 playthrough on Wednesdays, which I believe would be a Thursday for you. But, on, um, but you'll be able to see the game, and I know you will like it, and I know in my heart of hearts that you will do a playthrough on your channel. Serena says, hi, Sharpie. Saints Row 4, let's look it up. Volition, I've never heard of that company. Published by Deep Sea, uh, open world game, third person shooter. Is this like, um, what's the bald guy, Hitman? Is this like Hitman? What does it say in the Wikipedia? A few months after the events of Saints Row the Third, the Third Street Saints are called in to assist MI6 agent Asha Odakar and former Deckers leader Matt Miller in foiling a terrorist plot by former stack leader Cyrus Temple. This sounds very complicated, a name. Christian says, hello, Super Antonio. I have made howdy partners. And Serena says, I know I already voted for Witcher. Uh, Serena, uh, the Witcher voted for you. David says, Chris. Uh, Serena says, hi, Christian. Christian says, sup, David, and Ben says, sup there, Christian. Um, Christian says, hello, Serena, all is well. A name says, I think you would enjoy Saints Row 4, as it's quite a fun game with a lot to do also. Well, A name, I'll take a look at it for you. Christian says, sup, John Marston, how's the scar? Eagles Pro says, that will be a Friday for me. And Ben says, I always enjoy games like Saints Row. And Serena says, everything good. Christian, hope you're good. A name says, Saints Row 3 is definitely my favorite. Ben says, I heal fast, Arthur. And Christian says, yes, Serena, I am well. Ah. Got my Moroccan mint tonight. Happy Sunday, everyone. Kristen says, well, you just blazing about or you got a plan? We do have a plan, more or less. We're going to add another live stream on Wednesdays. See what that happens. A name says, by the way, you can call me Callum. It's the same way as saying Callum, but spelled with one L as my mom named me after George Best's son. Callum. Okay, Callum. I appreciate that. Thanks for sharing your name with the chat. 
Uh. Callum is a nice name. What does that mean? Callum name meaning. Callum is a Scottish Gaelic name that commemorates the Latin name Columba, meaning a dove. Callum was popular among early Christians because the dove was a symbol of purity, peace, and the Holy Spirit. Saint Columba was one of the most influential of the early Celtic saints. Okay, Callum. A name says, might try to change my name, although it's very OG. Uh, don't cha change your name, A name. That is like your link to the past. That is your link that goes back all the way to, um, I don't know, who, you know, all the way to like when your ancestors were painting themselves blue and, and sacrificing humans to, um, to the moon and to the sun. Don't change your name. Kristen says, happy Sunday to you as well, Super Antonio. How is Sadie sleeping on the job? Yes, indeed she is. And when did you, what did you do with her, Super Antonio? We walked and chased and had routine investigations of grass and other dogs. Um, ben says, Christian, I heard something about a train heading through Scarlet Meadows. And Christian says, oh, so Uncle told you I didn't even think about doing it. And Callum says, boom. Serena says, Callum is a nice name. Cal um, and Callum says, does my new display name show? It does indeed, a name. Ben says, I wish John wore the scout jacket he had in Chapter 2. I get the Coyote scout jacket as John and, and wear it like he still owns it. I do like that scout jacket, especially the uh, denim scout jacket. Callum said, I kept the normal one, though. I still have that. And Serena says, yes, we can see your name now. Callum says, going to give that Roadhouse movie a watch tomorrow on Prime. It looks good. Well, it has your, well, he's not your countryman. Is Conor McGregor? Conor McGregor. He is your countryman. You have to watch it. Looks like he put on like 50 pounds for the role. He is yoked. Like, his fighting weight is, like, around 145, isn't it? And he looks easily 175, 185. He's huge. Yeah, I was going to watch it. I didn't. I watched... <laughs> Instead, I watched an old movie, Hannibal, from 2000 and, what, two or three? That's the one where he's in Italy with... um. God, what's her name? Hannibal movie. Julianne Moore as um, Clarice. Serena says, Roadhouse is not the same without Patrick Swayze, though I might watch it. Yeah, I know, it's a, but it looks like it's a one-to-one -one remake. But I think it will just make me miss Patrick Swayze. He was gone too soon. Christian says, Ben's it's cool. You can craft one of the Trapper. Ben says, Dynamite Wagon. I meant weird autocorrect. And Callum says, yes, he's been buckle bulking up for the Chandler fight as he wants to fight him at 185. Wow. I don't, he's going to be slower at 185. But he'll have more power in theory. Uh, ben says, definitely, Christian. I really like these scout jackets. They look comfy. Same with bear coat and cougar cutaway. Christian says, but John's scalp jacket is more worn out. The only fight I'm looking forward to is um, Mike Tyson versus either Jake or Logan Paul. I forget, one of the Pauls. Because Iron Mike's got to be approaching 60 but he's in he's in great shape and i'm sure it's more of an exhibition fight it's not a fight fight but it'll be fun and i like to see mike tyson um i've always liked mike serena says i like these scout jackets on my arthur and john 
And Callum, you, uh, Serena, you should get a scout jacket for the lady in red, your online character. Callum says, big step for Connor, but he still looks quick and loose like he did when he was a lightweight fighter. Okay, we'll see. You know, carrying around an extra 40 pounds. Ben says, the cougar, cut the cougar cutaway coat looks like a main character piece of clothing to me. And it's pretty hard to get. Christian says, when do I craft it? Uh, make him wear it and match it with John. Serena says, I like the fancy coats on my boys, Arthur and John. Well, you know, that grizzly, that legendary grizzly coat is a signature super Arthur coat. It's part of his, um, it's part of the look of the channel, the brand of the channel, as it were. Serena says, I don't know if they have scout jackets online. I'll have to look. I'm sure they do. They've got everything. Callum says, thinks the fight's going to be in June, July. Yeah, that'll be interesting. You know, Jake Gyllenhaal being in ridiculous shape and learning how to fight made me think of something interesting. Um, how do I explain it for action movies? It is easier to take an actor and train him to fight than it is to take a fighter and train him to act. Now, like, for example, Jean-Claude Van Damme, um, Steven Seagal, even Bruce Lee, you know, and you know I love Bruce Lee. You know, it's like, if you're a fight, you know, you have to, you know, like, acting is a completely different um, skill than fighting. And they don't translate over. Like, Ronda Rousey, for a while, they were trying to make her into, you know, an action star and, you know, she failed miserably. Gina Carano did a little better because she has a natural acting talent, which is completely different than fighting talent. But, you know, like Uma Thurman, nobody, Uma Thurman can't fight, but you can, but she can play a fighter. She's a great actor, and she can play <clears throat> a samurai killer assassin in Kill Bill and be completely convincing. Same with Mila Jovovich or Mia Jovovich. Um, and then, you know, like all the Marvel guys, Chris Hemsworth, um, Robert Downey Jr., you know, it's, it's much easier. Or, you know, it's like, well, Keanu Reeves is different now because he's, um, he's a BJJ practitioner. But, you know, like in The Matrix, he had no fighting skills. He was just trained to fight. Um, anyways, I'm off on a tangent. And you guys are still talking about fashion. Ben says, I really like the cream color scout jacket. I wish there were more light cream beige colors in the game. And Serena says, they do. They don't look good or have good colors uh, for online. Callum says, my sister keeps leaving all the lights on even though it's 2 a.m. Serena says, okay, Christian, thank you. Ben says, after Jose is passing in Chapter 4, I wear the bear coat up in Rono. It seems cold there, and honoring Hosea by hunting it. That's a good idea, Benz. Christian says, no problem, Serena. Still, I don't have PS Plus. And Serena says, that's awesome, Benz. I like Hosea. And uh, Serena, Hosea likes you. Serena says, oh, no, Christian, I have for now. Don't know how long, though. I pay monthly. Ben says, even though Roanoke is a rough neighborhood, I love the Appalachian look of the land. Yeah, I do too, but it's just, it's horrible up there. Also, I associate it with Chapter 6, so that just makes it extra sad for me. Callum says, love going up to Roanoke, although I hate the eerie background music. When you just enter the territory, yeah, it's very scary up there. 
And on the community uh, poll, it's now 59% yes and 41% no. Serena says, same, Callum, and the swamps are e too eerie and scary. I prefer the swamps to, um, to Roanoke and that area. Callum says, oh, yeah, I'm on Chapter 4 of my Bad Honor playthrough, though. I've been really enjoying it. And Ben says, I like to think the Murphys have jumped on the back of the Perlino to snatch it and then bucks them off the cliff. I don't think they even try, Ben's. I think they worship the Perlino as one of their pagan gods. Callum says, not sure whether I should help Mary and Saint Denis, though it would be better if I didn't for the bad honor. That's a tough one, Callum. I would say the only times I've I haven't helped her is for speed runs. You might get interesting dialogue, so I would help if, you're, uh, if your honor is low. Serena says, the Murphys don't bother me anymore. I'm not scared. I like to hogtie them. Well, Serena, I'm, I hate to tell you this, but the, the Murphys enjoy being hogtied. So you might want to just, you know, blast their heads off with the sawed off because they enjoy being hogtied a lot more than you think. Miko says, I ain't going to Roanoke at night outside of any missions. Yeah, I mean, you only have to go there at night with Charles, and you're with Charles, so nothing bad's going to happen. Callum says, I've never not helped her, though. Yeah, you might get interesting bad honor dialogue. Callum says, yeah, I'll help her, but I'll not go to the movies, LOL. And Serena says, LOL, Marco, Miko, I did hear the whispers in Roanoke. Miko, what kind of snake is the giant snake in the tree? Do you know that snake in the game? It is under, it's near the O of Lemoyne. What kind of snake is it? Is it a reticulated python? It looks huge. It looks like it's 30 feet long, at least. And it's orange. So you need to look it up and tell me what snake it is. Serena says, no, I read that. Ben says, and one of my favorite interesting Red Dead things is how far John walked back to camp after being shot off the train. It's about two and a half miles away from camp, which is some distance. He might have stolen a horse. Christian says, anyway, how are all of you fine folks? Happy Sunday to y'all and to you as well, Super Antonio. And where's Sadie? Is she fully asleep? Yeah, regrettably, she's in front of the, cr the desk in her crate, fully asleep. On the job. She knows there's 14 viewers in the chat who want to see her and talk to her. Serena says, I know, Benz. Right, John did walk far. Poor John. Metro says, there he is. Hi, Miko, Serena, Christian. Greetings, Metro. Serena says, where's Sadie Antonio? Oh, I'll, I'll call her back for you. With some potent canine bait. Christian says, happy Metro. Hello, Metro. Happy Sunday to you, friend. David says, it's not a straight shot either, Benz. Climbing up all those hills. Serena says, hi, Metro. Calm says, did a random attack on me. Hup, hup. Good girl. Okay. Go say hi to Serena and the 15 viewers in the chat. Tell them to subscribe to the second channel and to like this video. And, um, and tell them that we're going to do a Witcher 3 playthrough on Wednesday. Okay? And say hi to Serena. Okay, stay here, okay? You stay here. Stay here. Up, up. Good girl. Okay, stay here. Um, Ben says, also proving John's endurance to get up right after and get to camp as fast as he could. David says, Metro. Serena says, where's O-Dog and Doc? Where indeed, Serena? 
Like Sadie, they are asleep on the job. But Odog might be with his lady friend. He's been seeing a bath lady. I believe the Valentine bath lady. One of Anastasia's friends. Or he might just be seeing Anastasia. You never know. You never can tell with Odog. And um, Callum, you should be asking Odog about lady advice. He knows a lot more about bath ladies than... He has a lot of experience with bath ladies. <laughs> uh, I'm not slandering Odog. I'm just teasing him a little. Uh, Christian says, hello, Serena, and uh, you beautiful, gorgeous girl. And Serena says, there she is. Hi, Sadie, looking beautiful girl. Yeah, see, Serena says you're looking beautiful. So wouldn't you want to be awake? <laughs> Look at that yawn. Look at that yawn. That's what she thinks of you. That's what she thinks of the chat and working in general. Okay. Well, thank you for showing up. Um, ben says, in, and in our best selves, you can use the camera mod. You can see John ran, running after the train, after being shot. Miko says, Super Antonio color wise, it looks like a Brazilian rainbow boa, but the size is too big and it has almost no scale pattern. Interesting, Miko. I was just going to say it's a python. But I appreciate you looking at it. Um, do boas get that big? Miko says, hey, Metro. And um, Kristen says, Serena, Doc is not here. I think Odog is lurking or with his lady friend. Um, yeah, Anastasia. Callum is not sure if Christian meant Sadie or Serena. Yeah, they're kind of interchangeable on this channel. Christian says, oh, my bad. I meant Sadie. Um, Serena says, okay, Christian, thank you. And Christian, don't worry about it, Christian. I know what you meant. Christian, I meant Sadie. So sorry, Serena. I'm, Serena's fine, I'm sure. And um, Serena says, that's okay, Christian. I knew what you meant. Yeah, Christian. Yeah, Callum, next time you see O-Dog, talk to him about um, your experience with bath ladies. Because he'll be very helpful, I'm sure. Ben says, I played Red Dead 1 first, so I was like, eh, he'll be fine. Speaking of John Marston. Christian says, oh, all right. Thank you, Serena. Got embarrassed there for a moment. Christian, there is never... A reason to be embarrassed on this channel. I'm saying that to all of you. Don't. There's no reason to. And anyone that embarrasses you will get blocked by me. That's a promise. Or any of you guys. You know, it's like, I won't even bother with the timeout. I'll just drop a block on him. Serena says, don't get embarrassed, Christian. It's fine. Yeah. And um, you need to strengthen the embarrassment muscle because you're going to be embarrassed in life. It's, you can't avoid it. If you try to avoid being embarrassed, you won't have fun. You won't live a life. You'll just be safe all the time. And you can't be safe all the time. You have to take risks. That's how you get to have fun. No risk, no reward. So don't focus don't focus on embarrassment because you know it's it stings but it passes you know just as fast as long as you don't dwell on it um Christian says thanks super antonio you're very welcome Christian uh Miko says I don't think bow const constrictors get that big as that snake in the game anacondas and some pythons do Colt Python this is one of my favorite incredibly overpowered handguns. Um, Callum says, put my hot blanket on for a while when I go to bed. Definitely a great investment as my dog loves the heat too. Kristen says, don't block Serena. Just got embarrassed because I didn't see what I typed. <laughs> Kristen, don't worry about it and don't dwell on it. Let's move on. Serena says, I love each and every one of you. Yes. 
Yes, uh, Serena has a lot of love for the chat in this community and this channel, and I don't know what we would do without her. Miko says, good advice. These days we all need to get a tougher skin. Yeah, especially online. We've completely forgotten it about that online. Everyone's so quick to be offended. And, um, you, you know, it's like they've stopped looking for common ground. And now they look for common offense. Ben says, I don't know why they made the boas in, out in Guarma poisonous. They're constrictors. It's in the name. I guess because, it, well, one, I didn't know there were any boas in the swamp. Um, and two, I guess it's easier just to have them poisoned. Callum says, was meant to have a lady friend over this weekend. Coming up until I forgot it was Easter. Yeah, Easter is a big deal in your country. Christian says, let's move on to Hosea. Who's better, Super Antonio? Horses. Who's better, Super Antonio? Bodicea or Biscuit? And if it's Bodicea, don't tell Biscuit. Um, that's a tough one for the channel. For me personally, I prefer Biscuit. I love the silver dapple. I love the silvery white shine, which is just as white as the white Arabian. And um, and I just love the um, the body style of um, the Missouri Foxtrotter. Um, Hungarians are slightly thicker. Uh, and the liver chestnut gets dirty a lot faster. And, you know, to be honest, she's not red enough for me. I like her because she's not readily available for Arthur, and she's part of the canon, and she's, um, and she's a very popular horse. But for me personally, I would go with Biscuit. Ben says, man, Easter came up on us quick. Sure did. Callum says, Biscuit clear by far. Serena says, loving the campfire. Nice. Well, I hope you brought, um, well, I, I think we agreed that there are no marshmallows in Australia. So you can roast a hot dog or a sausage. Christian says, good choice, Super Antonio. We all love Biscuit. Biscuit loves all of you. I did a, a Biscuit short, Biscuit versus Ariel. And it did quite well. It got 10,000 views in the first day. Serena says, I love Biscuit too. Callum says, facts, Benz. I had no clue it was next weekend. Well, you know, it's like I've got many Catholic um, relatives and Catholic aunties. So I'm always, I always know when it's Easter. Ben says, I thought it would have been nice if every town had a gambling champion and you could win rewards from them like a unique horse coat, revolver, outfit, etc. That's a great idea, Benz. You barely get enough um, bounty hunting. And once that's done, it's done. Another thing about Witcher 3 is it takes like, it's about 50 hours of gameplay um, and to complete it 100%, it's three times that. It's about 150 hours. And that's very close to Red Dead Redemption 2. In Red Dead Redemption 2, which is like 160-some hours and 60 hours of story mode gameplay. So we'll do, we'll do the full game. We'll just, you know, we'll just do a, a, a playthrough and... Um, random encounters as they come up organically for Witcher 3. Callum says, hardly went on the PlayStation today, went on for 15 minutes at 6 p.m. and then I got off and going to get to chapter 6 on the Bat Honor tomorrow though. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to work on Witcher 3 tomorrow for the Wednesday playthrough. 
which will be around this time, 7 p.m. PST. Very excited. Very excited because I don't think we've done a Wednesday live stream, so I want to see how that goes. And I want to see how a, a, a non-Rockstar, non-Red Dead um, game does on this channel. Is it going to bring new eyeballs? Is it going to bring new viewers? Is it going to bring um, new subs? Is it going to bring new super chats? What's going to happen? We don't know. But on Wednesdays, we will Witcher. And find out. Life is an experiment. Callum says, can't wait for the Witcher 3 stream. Um, okay, Callum, it can't wait for you. But uh, Ben says... I love the bounties, but they are gone quick. Gambling champions could be interesting. I think like a fancy horse coat would be a worthwhile reward. Christian says, just got to chapter 5 today. Was trying to be in chapter 4 for a while. Christian says, also, I like the black French dress shirt on Arthur. It looks good on him. I do like the French dress shirt. We're using that shirt for the Bad Honor playthrough. And ironically, we use the white one for the regular playthrough. Callum says, wonder if Rockstar is bringing up a Red Dead 2 update, as the game had an update a week ago or two ago. Yeah, but that was for Red Dead Online. That was for all those new Bounty Hunter missions. I don't think we'll ever get a story mode update. I don't think they care. They barely care about Red Dead Online. At any rate, I just wanted to go for about an hour tonight um, and talk about Witcher 3. Serena, no, Red Dead 2 did not get a story mode update. I appreciate all of you, friends. We shall return tomorrow night with, um, with Marston Mondays. On Mondays, we Marston. On Mondays, we Marston um, and the Red Dead 1 playthrough. And then we shall be starting the Witcher 3 playthrough on Wednesdays. Everyone have a great week. Shout out to the mods, Serena, David, Odog, Callum, thank you for sharing your name, Christian, Miko, thank you for the snake facts, and shout out to the Philippines. We shall see you soon, friends. Stick around for the exit. appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail.